Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use Tor Browser. Okay, Tor Browser is a very, very interesting browser that enables you or allows you to maintain your privacy and browse freely regardless of wherever you are and wherever you find yourself. You know, in some countries, if you travel around, you'll be able to find out that some countries have restrictions as regards what you can browse and some of the websites you can visit you have a lot of restrictions but with the advent of browsers like Tor browser it can help you bypass quite a lot of restrictions and be able to browse freely on your own and one of the best part of it is that it is completely free to use and reuse and share with your friends as well and it's available for mac windows linux and you can download it even for android for usage so it simply has a slogan that says privacy is possible okay opting out of big tech means investing in better alternatives okay so top browser is there to bypass any of the restrictions that you may have through some number of bridges which we are going to explain as we move on with this tutorial so to start let's start by learning how to access tor browser and download it you can access it by coming to torproject.org forward slash download you can see it's available for all of this like i've explained and once you get connected because once you start the browser you just have to connect it and then you're safe you can browse anywhere and you can be able to start using so let's say for my system right now we are using a mac operating system so we can just click on the mac operating system download and it is going to just download the mac operating system version so i've just downloaded mine and let's proceed to see how we can install it you can see installation is very direct just drag and drop it in your applications and perfectly tor browser is installed on your system here you see it being copied directly so once you install it, you can always come to the launchpad and you can be able to see it over here by just trying to search for Tor. You can see Tor browser. You can just click to open it. All right, so the first thing you need to do is to start by connecting this browser routes your traffic over to Tor Network run by thousands of volunteers around the world. So you can connect to bypass any restriction with just this connect or you can open the configure tab where you can see all the things in it you see like i said bridges help you securely access the tor network in places where tor is blocked you cannot be able to access it so you bypass and bypassing through the bridges it's very very easy you have to connect before you start using but then you can enable the connection automatically as well as you move on then you can add bridges or you can visit their telegram or websites or you can write to them to give you bridges if you're interested and then down here you can be able to add extensions and things Themes if you have any or you can look for their support if you're interested in their support you can always give you support and privacy you can always be mindful of your privacy by checking out some settings over here like cookies and sites site data you can always clear data you can manage your data exceptions you want the default is after you close the browser all of the history and cookies will be deleted automatically but if you want to change any you can manage the data from here what to save what to change and you can enable passwords if you want to enable and on site onion site authentication if you want to enable this and then history always use private browsing mode you can clear the history it was going to clear it automatically as soon as you close the browser and down here you have lots of permissions like locations camera microphone speaker selections you can be able to select all of these and enable them if you're interested now in terms of security this way you define whether you want it to be standard or safer or safest each one comes with its own restrictions only allows website features required for static sites and basic services these changes affect images media and script you may not be able to have full control if you browse on safest and safer also limits you from some dangerously assigned sites you will not be able to access them but i always like to keep it at dish as standard which is much better and they have the certificates and https only mode so you can define what you want and what you don't want and the default is that 
store use the doc ghost search engine you can specify others if you're interested and then down here you have other address bar features that you can enable and so much other simple controls over here at the home tab uh, you can enable the home and new windows to be like this or custom url or blank page if you want a new tab also can be a blank page if you want and you can re always restore the default if you're interested okay the, here you can change the general import browser data settings like the passwords bookmarks histories you can import from other browsers like chrome and others you can import it to this directly and then you have the letter boxing the content alignment window size how do you want to align your content during the website browser and so on you have all of these controls and file applications how do you want to save your files where you can specify directly from here which file you want to save your downloads easily you can do that and browser updates you can always update the browser down here and many more other things like the performance and browsing you can enable other features small features from here so let's start from the beginning by just coming over to connections over here and then you can connect and this is going to enable you to connect to your bridge and you can see right now it's connected or you can click to start searching like i said the default search engine is DuckDuckGo. so you can click and let's see what is photosynthesis Alright, so this is just something very simple and then you can just enable it and you can see the search it's very fast and all the key things that you should know is that it behaves like normal google but then the search comes up with this icon which signifies complete protection okay you are verified by digisat the connection is highly secured you're verified everything is secured nobody is going to tap on with privacy and so on and then over here you'll be able to see the ip address of where which bridge you are using and where you are coming from you can see this browser is using these features these details and you can be able to search anything directly on your own and browsing becomes very easy and you can click and move on to anything and browse things it's very fast and it's completely free to use and you can see very easily you can have access to things you can browse features and so on and one of the key things i want to show you is that you can always come to these three lines and as usual you have access to new tab if you want to create a new tab new windows new private windows new identity new touch circuit for this website bookmarks history downloads passwords and then you can zoom in and out you can save a page as and so on and you can even come to settings and it usually bring you over to the settings that we've talked about and then over here you have new identity and you can start things and bookmark them directly so so much to look into more tools also you can click and you have more access to all of this so the key thing is top browser is free to use and you can use it to browse anything can privately without disturbance and you can even enter google as well if you're interested uh, in entering google so if you are planning to travel around maybe to countries with restrictions i strongly recommend you try downloading and installing tor browser before you go to that country and you have access to all the websites all the features and you'll be able to enjoy your stay with this kind of browsers Okay, so just go ahead, download it, install it on your system and see how you can use it to your own advantage. So this concludes this simple tutorial about the use of Tor browser starting from its benefits, downloading and installing and probably using it on different kind of things to generate or to browse different websites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.